looking for the best Mac accessories? Of course you are. That's why you clicked on this video. And that's exactly what you're gonna get. This video covers the best Mac accessories for 2021. Hey friends, I'm Tasia and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips and app reviews. In this video, well, you already know, I'm covering the best Mac accessories. So come on, let's go. There are a lot of necessities when it comes to Mac accessories. Whew, say that 10 times fast, but I'm gonna cover things like webcams, mice, external keyboards, external hard drives, and so much more. As such, I've created chapters for you to navigate through your desired accessories at your leisure. All right, first up, let's talk about my favorite webcam. This is actually my newest accessory and I couldn't be happier with it. Let me introduce you to the Logitech Streamcam. Am I a streamer? No. Does it matter? No. I think this could be, dare I say it, the best webcam for Mac. The Logitech Streamcam features 1080p HD video at 60 frames per second. It's got smart autofocus and exposure thanks to its facial tracking. It even comes with a little mini tripod should you want to set up a couple of these bad boys for a live stream concert or gaming experience. Plus, the Streamcam can also rotate to shoot full HD vertical video, which is terrible for real life but perfect for Insta stories. It's pretty versatile when it comes to mounting options and most important for Mac users, it connects via USB-C. So to really show you how great the Logitech Streamcam is, I'm gonna show you a little side-by-side -side comparison here of my standard built-in MacBook Pro camera versus the Streamcam. All right, so here we are on my built-in 2018 MacBook Pro camera. You know, the quality is just okay. It's a little bit grainy, not really wild on it. So let's go ahead and switch and see the difference. Whoa. Hey girl, hey. But look at how crazy this difference is. Okay, let's show a quick side-by-side -side screen compare so you can just see like how insane that quality is. Mwah, perfection. The Logitech Streamcam is about 170 bucks, depending on where you buy it. And I have a bunch of links down below to the graphite color, which is what I have, as well as the white color. Speaking of my links below, they are affiliate links. So if you buy something using one of those links, I might make a small commission. All right, let's move on to some computer mouse options. I actually have two recommendations for you here, depending on your use case, and both are Logitech options as well. First is this little Logitech M325 wireless mouse. This little baby comes in a whole range of color options and is perfect for traveling because of its compact size. Honestly, if you have small hands, it's a really great everyday mouse option and it comes with a unifying USB receiver for easy connectivity. I've had this one for years and years and it is still going strong. But if you want a few more scrolling options or multi-computer control, you'll definitely want the Logitech MX Master 2S. That's right, this mouse allows you to control up to three different computers. So you could copy from one computer and paste it to another. The MX Master 2S will work on any surface, comes with a micro USB charging cable for fast recharging. It's got a speed adaptive scroll wheel as well as a thumb wheel for side to side scrolling. Plus, you can either connect this mouse via that unifying receiver or via Bluetooth. I also find this mouse is quite nice ergonomically. It feels really nice in my hand and it seems like it's helping my wrist issues at the end of a long day. Pricing for the M325 starts around 18 bucks and ranges depending on color. The MX Master 2S is on sale now on Amazon for 60 bucks. That's down from $100. So run, don't walk. Utilize those links below. Everything is organized per category for you. So every mouse needs a true companion. And by that, I mean a great keyboard. I'm gonna show you two different options here too. And wouldn't you know, these are also Logitech. At this point, you're probably thinking I'm sponsored by Logitech and they're paying me millions of dollars to recommend all their products to you. Well, joke's on you. Or wait, 
and me too actually, because I'm not sponsored by Logitech. I mean, I'd like to be, so Logitech, if you're watching, call me. I wanna start with a true companion partner to the MX Master 2S mouse, and that's the Logitech MX Keys Wireless Illuminated Keyboard. I've been eyeing this keyboard for a while, actually. Aesthetically, it matches nicely in color to the Graphite MX Master 2S, so if that's important for you, you cannot go wrong here. Plus, it has smart illumination hand proximity detection and automatic backlighting, which is just super handy. And just like its little sister mouse, it comes with a recharging cable and can work across multiple computers at once. See? A true companion. Now you may wonder why I don't also have that keyboard yet. Like why am I showing you that keyboard but I don't even have it? That's because I have an absolute workhorse in the Logitech K750 Solar Wireless Keyboard. As the name would suggest, this bad boy is a solar powered keyboard. And in case you're wondering, yes, the charge actually lasts. I stick it in my windowsill like once every few months really, and he fully comes back up to charge. This keyboard too comes with a unifying receiver, and that's the only way to connect this one. It's not Bluetooth compatible. And for price reference, the Logitech Solar keyboard is about half the cost of the MX Keys keyboard, so it's currently actually on sale right now too for $53. Let's move on to a dual purpose accessory and something I think that everybody should invest in and that's a really good laptop stand. I've got the Belkin Zero stand, otherwise known as the Loft stand, I believe, but unfortunately, like all good things, it had to come to an end and they don't make this stand anymore. But have no fear, I have found a very similar stand for you guys. This is the best stand or B stand, aluminum cooling computer stand. It has the all important soft rubber non-slip grippers as well as a hole for your cables. Stands are really important for a couple of reasons. One, they prop your laptop up close to your eye line, which is by far better for your neck and posture. And two, they help cool your MacBook. If any of you have a MacBook, you know they can run super hot sometimes. So a stand is clutch to help airflow. The best stand is 37 bucks. And I am telling you, if you don't have a laptop stand, you need to get a laptop stand. And if you have any recommendations on the best laptop stand for MacBooks, let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, go ahead and give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel because that helps tell YouTube that this is the content you are looking for. Now let's talk about a port hub. We're gonna get a little controversial here. I can't wait for the 2021 MacBooks because it is rumored that they are killing the USB-C ports. There, I said it. But until then, or if you aren't upgrading your MacBook in the next couple of years, you're going to need a really great port hub. And to be honest, extra ports are necessary no matter the Mac you're working on. And I have two recommendations here for you too. This is the Katek port hub that has three USB 3.0 ports plus SD and micro SD card reader ports. Now I've had this guy for many years, but be warned, it connects via a USB 3. So if you're on an iMac, this is a great and very economical port at around 19 bucks. But if you have a MacBook like I do, you'll also want to grab a USB-C to USB 3 adapter cable in order to properly connect this guy. So I've got this Amazon Basics one and everything put together works really well. This is a great MacBook USB-C adapter right here. In fact, if you're on a MacBook, you need to have an adapter. End of story. If you go this route with two separate pieces, it's gonna cost you about 28 bucks. So if you have a MacBook and want a port hub that connects via one of your already existing USB-C ports, take a look at this Lention or Lention? Not sure how to pronounce that, but this is a great option that offers the exact same ports as that Katek one, and it's at a $20 price tag. 
And here's why I prefer these port hubs that connect via one port, so it's not going to take up all your ports on one side. Here's what I mean. You may have seen some port hubs that fit snug to the side of your MacBook, like this one here for an example. While this may look aesthetically cool, they take up both of your USB-C ports on one side. Uh, no bueno. Let's now take a deep dive into storage solutions for your Mac. No matter what Mac you work off of or what you do for a living, you should be using external hard drives. Whether you use them for backups or to save space on your Mac, they are absolutely crucial. I have so many drives, but let's start here with Western Digital. This one here is the Western Digital 2 terabyte My Passport portable external hard drive. It works really great with Mac and it is a cinch to set up. It's pretty compact for travel and I've linked to this two terabyte one as well as a four terabyte one below. But if you're looking for some beast mode storage, Western Digital is still where it's at. This is the Western Digital eight terabyte MyBook desktop external hard drive. I've linked to this one and a 12 terabyte one below if you need a ton of storage. So if you're video editing or something, these are great external drives. Something to keep in mind with these desktop external drives is that they do require power as well. A lot of people seem to overlook that, expecting it to be like these little portable ones. The second brand that is my most used is Seagate. They're very similar in size to the Western Digital portable drive as well. So here's a little comparison for you. The Western Digital is two terabytes. The blue Seagate is a four terabyte and the black Seagate is a five terabyte. You can see there isn't really much size difference between them considering the storage jump. That being said, these guys are great for travel too, and I have linked to the two terabyte, four terabyte, and five terabyte options below. The prices on all of these drives range, of course, depending on your storage, but I feel like between these two brands, something is always on sale, like always. Now the third brand I use for external drives on Mac, actually believe it or not, is Samsung. Now I use this guy very specifically. This is the one terabyte Samsung T5 portable solid state drive. Look how tiny this guy is. I use this solely for traveling because of its super compact size. And they also have a two terabyte version of this and I've linked to both below. Now, a caveat to this SSD is that because it's Samsung, it can be glitchy sometimes when you're setting it up for Mac. With that said, if you travel for work a lot, this is still a really great option, starting at about 120 bucks. And if you do go with this drive, I also recommend this hard travel case as well. It is made specifically for the T5 SSD, and it really is the perfect travel companion at a whopping $7. Let's round out the list with the best wireless headphones for Mac. Now, you may have noticed that I have some old school bows here with a wire, but who wants a wire? I'm a huge fan of Bose, and as you can imagine, I have had these for years, and I just can't bring myself to get rid of them yet. Why fix what ain't broke? However, these Bose noise-canceling wireless Bluetooth headphones are epic. They hold a charge for about 20 hours and include a really great mic system, which is so important when you're taking calls. I always recommend getting headphones that have a mic system built in. It's a non-negotiable. Plus, they also pair with certain Bose sound bars, which is just so cool. They come in three different color options, and obviously these guys are pricey at $379, but keep in mind that these will most likely go on sale for Prime Day and or Black Friday. I definitely have my eye on them for that time, so bookmark the link below and set a reminder. And it wouldn't be a best Mac accessories video without mentioning the Apple AirPods Pro. The noise canceling option is great, plus the fact that they come with three different tip sizes is key. Plus the battery life is great. They last me a few days on just one charge. And if you head to the link below, they are on sale right now on Amazon. I just love a good sale. So remember to take advantage of the affiliate links below. Everything is already organized for you per category. 
Happy shopping. So those are my picks for the best Mac accessories of 2021. And now I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite Mac accessories and why? Let everybody know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and up here and here for even more Mac content. You know you wanna go down that rabbit hole. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.